Okay, now maybe we're set up. Um, good morning, Nick. I invariably I can't get things set up exactly the way I want it, so everything's a compromise. So I can't see. I can't see um, the screen that tells me who's watching or how many people are watching. Not who. How many people are watching? So I have no idea how many people are watching. I'm doing a screen share. I'm trying to get my chair around here. A screen share of um, SDR console, which is controlling my Fifi SDR radio. And I want to stop sharing for a second here so I can see what is going on. And maybe I don't need to do that. Let me go over here. Click on this. Okay, I got five viewers. Um, now we can turn that off. Oh boy, get back to their page. Um, I'm just experimenting with these antennas again this morning. Um, that's that's one of the beauties of shortwave listening and even just scanner listening is playing with antennas. And yesterday when I was trying to test the dipole HF antenna that's cut for 31 meters, I was getting a lot of noise. I moved one leg of the antenna, the one that was sloping down to about five feet, five feet above the ground. I thought that one might be the one that was picking up the noise. So I fooled around for about an hour, and I finally got it. It's in the same direction, but now it's higher up in the air. And it's almost horizontal with the feed point, which is the way it should be, or typically the way it should be. At the time, I didn't see any improvement on the noise. Now couple of things have changed this morning. Number one, it's much earlier. It's almost 5.30 in the morning. That could be one thing. Um, another thing is my next door neighbor where the antenna is between his house and my house, he most likely is not up yet. So maybe any noise he might have been creating, which I was picking up, maybe it's not there. I don't know. A third variable is I'm using SDR console version 3 instead of 2.3, which I was using yesterday. The reason I was using 2.3 yesterday is I was getting some kind of feedback um, in my setup, and I just got this huge spike of a noise, just a spike at 10 megahertz, which is where I'm at now. And it was just unusable. It just, you know, it couldn't hear anything. So I had to go back to 2.3, and that worked okay. This morning, I thought for grins, I would try to troubleshoot why 3.0 was not working. Why right? I was getting that kind of feedback. And it appeared as if it was an audio feedback, meaning my microphone's input was somehow getting mixed in with the Fifi SDR audio. Now, right now, I got so many variables, I can't keep track of them all. Right now, the Fifi is connected to my computer via USB, and that's where the data is coming in and where the audio is coming in, I think. And then my voice is coming in through my mixer into the microphone input of the computer. And somehow inside the computer, they're getting mixed. I don't know how. But it seems to be working at the moment. So I've got WWV coming in fairly strong. I'm on the dipole antenna from Tim. And I've also got on the switch I've got my MFJ 31-foot vertical antenna. So 
Uh, there's local in DX Radio. Good morning. Uh, again, to, to bring you up to speed, I'm just experimenting again with antennas and hangouts and 10 or 20 other variables. And the beauty of using Hangouts is I can record for up to eight hours. And my computer theoretically won't crash. Although I've had to turn off my webcam because the webcam software, the Chrome software that's getting me into Hangouts, the SDR software 3.0, all that running was too much for my computer and it hung up the sdr console got hung up so i turned off the webcam which reduced the amount of cpu was used and it seems to be working matter of fact i've got that task manager open and it says the cpu usage right this minute is 81 percent so that monitor task manager is taking up cpu usage too i probably should close it down i'll do that right now because i'm right near the edge there i don't know if that shows up on the screen or not i'm gonna i'm gonna wait for a second or two and look at my laptop and see if it's showing up yes it is okay so you can see i'm right at the top there with these all these things running so i'm surprised it's not crashing i mean it's very close but it's not crashing so i'm going to shut that off and that'll get me some more well let's look at processes so SDR console, uh, is that what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. Is using about 28% Chrome. Chrome eats up CPU and memory big time. I don't know what other, what other um internet ex internet program to use besides chrome but chrome eats up a lot of cpu okay so we're going to shut this down now that i've got some record of that and i'm using 1.18 gigabytes out of i think this computer has three gigabytes so we're okay on memory, but we're, we're doing okay. We're 80%, 88%. So I'm going to shut this down. I've said that three times. Now I'm going to do it. Okay. So there is 10 megahertz at 530 in the morning. Now, at any minute, this may, this may crash. So bear with. So I'm going to go to 5 megahertz, which is... Typically better here in Florida this early in the morning. Okay, that's better. Now, this antenna, this HF dipole, is cut for 31 meters. So it's cut for around 9 megahertz. So 5 megahertz may not be doing as good on this antenna. Uh, the signal itself is pretty strong. We've got a bunch of noise just to the uh, right of five megahertz, up to about 5.025. We're doing a pretty good job. That noise I had yesterday has seemed to have diminished. Now, like I say, I got a lot of variables. It could be that the settings in SDR console 2.3 that I was using yesterday was letting more noise through. I don't know. It's the STR console has a billion things you can change, you know, which can definitely affect your reception. So anyway, 
let's go back to antenna testing and I want to go back to 10 megahertz because that's what this antenna was cut for the the HF dipole was cut for a 31 meter band now I'm going to compare it kind of apples and oranges I'm I will be what I'll be doing is I'm comparing a basically horizontal antenna the dipole to a vertical antenna the horizontal antenna is at the peak it's probably 15 feet in the air and it faces one leg faces northwest and one leg faces south points or points south so we're going to switch over to the vertical which is 31 feet in the air it's a telescopic fiberglass pole with a single wire from the tip down to the base and then there is a matching box at the base and then that's picked up through coax cable and brought in the house or in the garage or in the workshop it, where i'm at okay okay we're going to flip over to the vertical okay there's the vertical a lot less noise that's the same thing i noticed yesterday the vertical has a lot less noise Okay. Let me turn the audio up a little bit. Oh, gosh, worried. Where do I find that? Oh, down here. I, I really struggle between these different software packages for SDRs and the different versions. Um, Simon, who writes this software, made quite a few changes from 2.3 to 3.0. So I have to remember where things are. Okay. So there is 10 megahertz on the vertical antenna. This is an MFJ vertical antenna. It sells for $100. Okay, we're going to switch back to the horizontal dipole. And you notice the noise level went up. The signal level, um, now what's neat about the way I've got SDR console is, is that um, it puts a marker on the peak signal that it heard. And it's doing that real time dynamically. So. This little number up here, number one, is where the highest signal level was. So we can see it was way up here. Now, right now, uh, it doesn't. The cursor doesn't tell me, but it's about minus twenty dB m, typically. I'm going to switch back over to the vertical. And the signal is about the same, maybe a little higher. The noise level went way down. Now, let me go down and put my cursor on the kind of the average noise level. It would be about there, which is about... Oh, I'd say minus 50 to 60, 50, 55 dB, minus 55 dB. This is on the vertical. That's the noise level. Go back to the horizontal dipole. And the noise level jumps up to about more than minus 45. So about 10 dB higher noise. Now, let me go back. Signal level now is, I'm going to put it right there. It's kind of the average peak. Go back to the vertical. Actually, the noise, I mean, the signal level is higher. Almost 5 dB higher for that particular frequency. Now, let me see if I can find... Um, 
for instance, Radio Australia. See if they're coming in. Yep. Now, Radio Australia. Radio Australia um, is in the range that the dipole antenna was designed for. Right now, I'm on the vertical. Okay. And we're going to go to the horizontal. So it's about, well, it's full scale. Yeah, it's it's zero dB. Yeah, it's full scale. Let me go back to the vertical. Now, <laughs> the waveform changed considerably. Maybe I've got a bad connection. Maybe it's my crappy switch. There we go. That was a, it's my switch. I definitely need to get a. Uh, a new, new, brand new switch, antenna switch. Uh, this one's probably uh, 25 years old. And that's the problem with using, if you can get away with it, don't have a switch in the line. Ooh, look at that signal that popped up over there. Wow, what the heck is that? But anyway. 9.580 is coming in very good this morning, even uh, even though the sore conditions are not that great. Radio Australia for me here in Florida is always a very strong signal. And it, I would say, guessing, oops, because my switch again. Yep, the switch is bad. There we go. I would say, as far as the signal itself, both antennas on that frequency are about the same. And again, we're now in the band that the HF dipole antenna is designed for, which is the 31 meter international band, which is 9.5. Four to 9.9, I believe. Now, let's see what happens when we go back down to 5 megahertz, which this dipole is not cut for. Okay, we'll go down to 5 megahertz. Okay, that is the vertical antenna. And it's, it's almost full scale. The signal peak there is a dipole not as good and the other way you can detect um, the quality of the signal coming in is let's listen to it so let me turn the volume up That's the dipole. That's the vertical antenna. Yeah, the noise in the, let me turn the audio back down. The noise can be heard in the audio on when using the dipole, dipole antenna. And the noise level on the vertical is much lower. Now, is that typical of a vertical versus a horizontal antenna? I don't know. Some people say, that the vertical antennas 
have less noise on them. Other people will say, no, a uh, horizontal. So that's kind of up in the air. I'm not going to argue that. Let's see what's going on now in the Hangout. Okay, we got six viewers. Good. We'll go back. Okay, you have the six viewers. Um, to bring you back up to speed, what I'm attempting to do here, I'm just doing some antenna testing, and I'm going to have to turn the fan on. Getting a little warm in here. Um, of a MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna, it's a telescopic fiberglass pole versus uh, a dipole antenna that was sent to me by an eBay seller, uh, Timothy. And he typically sells antennas cut for the amateur radio bands. Um, talking to him. I told him that most of my viewers, well, not most, but a lot of my viewers are shortwave listeners. So they listen to the international broadcast bands. And the most popular one is 31 meters. So he actually built a band, an antenna for that frequency. So it's best at that frequency. So I think, I think I've got my testing done. Um, I'm a little, little still miffed about why the noise level has gone down. If you go back to my previous show of testing these two antennas, or this antenna plus another one, um, I had a real high noise level. I'm, what I'm going to attempt now, and I might lose everything, is I'm going to attempt to shut down SDR console 3.0 because yesterday... I was using 2.3. So let me just try that. Here we go. Could be a disaster. Okay, let me close that down. Close that down. And we'll go to 2.3. See if it doesn't crash. Okay, this is what I was using yesterday in, in this the video I released from yesterday. So we'll start that. And we'll turn the... Okay, now i got to find the volume again. Yeah, I can't remember how to turn the volume to my, turn my speakers down. Um, yeah, the noise level is appears appears to be higher. Again, it could be the settings because if I look down here in this spectrum here, the noise level is not too bad. Oh, I'm oh, excuse me, I'm on my vertical, but even at that, on my vertical, the noise level appears higher, but you can change these displays you can change the way they look which could be part of my problem so i'm going to switch over to the dipole antenna which i yesterday using this version of sdr console the noise level was very high so we're going to switch over okay now yeah there it is it's real high again it's swamping out the screen now let's listen to it and see if it sounds bad. Okay, we're not on anything. So let's go to this guy right here, which is WWV. I can't even hear it. I don't hear the audio. Let me switch back. Yeah, I don't hear the audio. Now, has it gone away? 
I don't know. Okay, let's try to switch back to SDR console three. I mean, their signal is there, but let me. Ch something here is confusing. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the vertical antenna. Got a lot of noise. Okay, we're going to shut this down and go back, try to go back to 3.0. Again, it may crash. Okay, now let's go back to uh, 10 megahertz. And we'll turn the audio up. Okay, the actual audio itself is low but the noise is lower in version 3.0 because most likely the settings i'm going to have to experiment there's pretty clear i'm going to have to do some testing with the settings on 2.3 versus the settings on 3.0 um see right now i'm looking at down here i've got the bandwidth set at four megahertz uh, four kilohertz plus or minus four kilohertz let me go back i'm really uh risking everything going back and forth so four four kilohertz bandwidth It will start and I'm going to select four kilohertz. Didn't seem to make any difference. Still got all that noise. Probably, or let me turn the audio back down. Possibly the RF gain settings for the SDR are different. And I don't know where the heck to find them. I'm trying to see any place obvious that I can find them. But that's one thing I've noticed about the difference between 2.3 and 3.0. You made a lot of changes in where things are setting wise have moved so it's not easy to find but i would say that for this receiver the fifi receiver the settings i have in 3.0 appear to be better now why i don't know i thought it was possibly the bandwidth but I just changed that and didn't seem to change anything. I could, I could say again, again, it, it does, I would say it's the appearance, but it's also in the audio. I can hear a lot more noise in the audio using 2.3. So anyway, that's the testing. Um, I can say the, the idea of this particular show was to just do some more experimenting, more learning. Um, I think I've opened a can of worms as far as, far as the difference between SDR 2.3 and 3.0. I know other applications such as HD SDR, I get different results there. And there's just so many variables and the way they handle the data that's coming in from the SDRs is handled differently, so you get different results. Probably what I should do is, um, or I could do, I wouldn't say should, 
I, what I could do is I hook up the antennas to just a standalone radio, like my Texan PL680. And listen, I can't see anything, but I can listen and see the effects of the two different antennas. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my show. Going out of show, it's my experiment. Uh, William left a comment, SDR, the new shortwave radio. Yes, it is, William. I have to agree with you. I, I'm still an old school guy. You know, I like the big 50-pound radios with lots of knobs. But there are so many things that you can do with an SDR and the appropriate software. But in my case, I get overwhelmed. One of the problems, one of the reasons I get overwhelmed is I try too many software packages. I probably have a dozen SDR software packages that I've used or using. And you can see from this show or this recording that just going between different versions of the same program, it's confusing. The layout's different. The way the radios or the SDRs react is different. So anyway, if you enjoyed this kind of show where I'm just kind of rambling and experimenting and making mistakes, please let me know. Leave me a comment um, and give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't, give me a thumbs down. And I'm like, okay, maybe this I should just keep these shows to myself. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.